Imagine being fully conscious during surgery, hearing the scalpels scrape, feeling the pain, yet paralyzed and unable to scream. This is anesthesia awareness, occurring in one in thousand patients. Studies show their brains remain active despite anesthetic drugs, revealing consciousness isn't binary. One survivor described it as watching your own autopsy. Such cases challenge medicine's assumption that anesthesia equals unconsciousness. General anesthesia works by disrupting communication between brain regions, particularly the thalamus and cortex. However, genetic variations and drug resistance can leave islands of awareness. EEG studies prove some patients process sounds and pain even when motionless. As one neurologist notes, it's like silencing a radio but leaving the microphone on. This explains why patients recall conversations surgeons assumed they'd never hear. In 2012, MIT researchers detected gamma wave bursts linked to consciousness in anesthetized patients. These bursts correlated with later recall of surgical sounds. Another study found patients' brains responded to commands, each squeeze your hand, though physically paralyzed. The mind is a prisoner, notes a neuroscientist, not absent. Such data confirms anesthesia awareness as a form of wakefulness, not equipment failure. Survivors often develop PTSD, with 70% reporting nightmares and avoidance of hospitals. Legal cases reveal anesthesiologists missing early warning signs like rising blood pressure. Yet deeper sedation risks fatal overdose. We're balancing between awareness and death, admits one doctor. This ethical tightrope underscores why understanding consciousness spectrum is critical not just for science, but for human dignity. New brain monitors like BIS devices now analyze real-time EEGs to adjust anesthesia depth. Hospitals using them report 80% fewer awareness cases. Meanwhile, survivor advocacy groups push for mandatory training. As research continues, one truth emerges. Consciousness under sedation isn't an anomaly, it's a misunderstood frontier. The line between awake and asleep, we now know, was never truly a line at all.